Dear colleagues and friends, it's a great honor to give this laudation speech to the UEG Lifetime Achievement Awardee 2023. And the awardee is uh, Professor Jan Tak, Leuven, Belgium, a close friend and collaborator, well known to most of you. Um, as, and the, um, it's uh, fair to say that he is one of the most prominent gastroenterologists in Europe and in the world. And before um, talking about his clinical and scientific achievements, I would like to show you some nice pictures from the early years. Um, Jan Tak was born in 1962. And as you can see, he, early on, he showed an interest in examining human beings. And also something that you can it's, it's, it's say is very similar to human beings. In school, he was, as you can may, uh, expect, a pupil with good grades. But he has also informed us that he was a pupil with discipline problems. During the early years, uh, there was a passion in Jan's life, and that was figure skating. And uh, Jan and his partner were very successful. They were actually national champions in Belgium for two years. And this was, of course, a threat to gastroenterology, because you can easily imagine with this successful early career in figure skating, it, was, it could, could have been quite likely that he had ended up in the very, you know, uh, uh, glamorous world of figure skating, participating in shows like this, A Holiday on Ice, instead of moving into gastroenterology. But luckily enough for us, for Jan, for gastroenterology, he decided to leave figure skating and move into gastroenterology. And, uh, and uh, before that, of course, into medicine. And during his early years in his medical, his medical studies in uh, Leuven in Belgium, he met his uh, future wife, Sophie whom he married in 1990. And uh, Jan and Sophie, they have now been married for 30, more than 33 years, and they're a proud parents of four grown-up kids. And besides his passion in medicine and gastroenterology, Jan also enjoys and prioritizes spending time with his family in Belgium and on trips to different parts of the world. And after graduating from medical school, Jan specialized in uh, med internal medicine and gastroenterology at the University Hospital in Leuven. And after a research fellowship at the Ohio State University, he has been conducting top class research since 1990 at KU Leuven in neurogastroenterology and in motility in general and disorders of gut brain interaction in particular. He has published more than 900 peer reviewed articles and he has an impressive age index of above 100. And in addition to his research achievements, uh, he's also a successful clinician and he's currently the head of the gastroenterology and hepatology division at the University Hospital in Leuven. He has uh, created or established a, an extremely successful multidisciplinary team whose presence uh, is also always very prominent at different international meetings. Jan has also a very impressive track record as an editor. Early in his career, he became the first non-British uh, associate editor of Guts, and after that, he assumed the uh, editor-in-chief position at Neurogastroenterology and Motility. And with that uh, editorial experience, UEG was fortunate to uh, have Jan Tak as the first editor-in-chief in, -chief in 20, oh, 2012 of the then newly started UEG journal. And within UEG, he has also been a member of the scientific committee, de developing the program for UEG Week. And in 2018, for his research achievements, uh, he, he received the prestigious UEG Research Prize. Based on his uh, logical, um, uh, um, uh, uh, quite logically, he, he's, he based on his enormous knowledge and uh, uh, achievements in the field of disorders of gut brain interaction and form formerly known as functional gastrointestinal disorders. He is also now the president of the Rome Foundation, the uh, association that focuses on science and education for these disorders. Before I end my presentation, I would like to share another one of Jan's passions, and that is his deep passion for electronic music. And uh, in an article from one of his colleagues in Leuven, Raf Bishop, uh, we, were, we have been informed about this uh, passion. And in table one, you can see a list of Professor Jan Tak's all-time favorites of what you can call normal accessible music. 
But probably of greater interest is this table two, where you can see Professor Jan Tak's musical passion in electronic music, his true passion. And if you look at this list, you can really appreciate that this passion goes beyond what you can call normal accessible music. Thank you, Magnus. I prepared a few words, but I put them in a paper in my uh, back pocket just to survive the fiery entrance. Uh, you never know with paper and fire. So thank you, Magnus, for the very kind words. And of course, thank you to UEG for giving me this award. The prestige of which is evident from the impressive list of previous awardees. It was Isabel Koller from the Flemish Society of Gastroenterology who initiated this nomination. Um, and I want to thank her and the society for doing this. I did not expect or envision this. A lifetime achievement sounds like the end of a period of hard, strenuous work. But this is not what I experienced. I actually intensely enjoyed um, the achievements or the work, I think, that may have contributed to make me eligible for this achievement. Clinical work, the research, the support to the field and to UEG. In Leuven, I had the privilege of working with excellent colleagues and with young and enthusiastic research fellows who belong to the best of their generation. Internationally, I got to work with some of the best and outstanding colleagues in the field, and this generated very fruitful interactions and true friendships. The love and support of my wife and her understanding allowed me to do all this. She's not here, she's um, performing Karl Orff's Carmina Burana with her choir today. Maybe the achievement related to the clinical research lies, the most, most important, lies in the fact that this is in the field of neurogastroenterology and motility. This is a large field where there are many diverse patients who are somewhat underaddressed by industry and sometimes undervalued by colleagues. And of course, I'm very proud of having initiated the UEG journal, which is in great shape, as you can see. So thank you, UEG, for this award, and especially thank you to all the colleagues and fellows who walked this way with me. Thank you very much.